So on we go to the Remenham Challenge Cup. And this is Oxford Brookes University against Molesy. Two heavyweight clashes here. This is uh, the women's eight big established clubs. Always successful at Henley's. They want to keep that going in this one. Yeah, Oxford Brooks, uh, they, two weeks ago they won women's, uh, women's Henley, which actually has all the university, the club, and the sort of high-grade international crews in the same event, and they won that two weeks ago. Molsey, more of a recently put together crew of athletes from Molsey who also study at American universities, and since the NCAAs have come back to Rowe Henley. Yeah, but Brooks here, clear water out very early on. Oxford Brooks University, not just for the geography, but so much more experience on this particular stretch of water. So you mentioned the Henley Women's Regatta a few, well, just two or three weeks ago now. And they've had loads of time there on this stretch of water. And you look at previous Henley Moore Regatta appearances for everybody in that Oxford Brooks boat compared to Molesy. And that's... Uh, is perhaps why in the early stages of this Roman and Challenge Cup heat. Yeah, so in ter in terms of age, they're not too much different, but in terms of experience, the Brooks crew has a lot more. And you can see here, they're just better gelled, having done much more mileage together. And they've put a, quite a big margin now here into this Molesy. What you call semi-scratch crew, they probably had less than a couple of weeks together. It's not just the age, though, and the, the miles, though. It's, it's specific to this water, isn't it? Because Henley and this stretch of water is so unique, and it must be. You'd know, Adrian, wouldn't you? That it must give you such a head start. If you've been up and down dozens of times on this particular stretch, you get really familiar with different weather conditions and yeah. different streams. And yeah, exactly. And it's a really interesting balance because there's that point when you come here and you need to have the experience to train on it. But once you've got it, you actually tend to stay away for the few days before you race because there is so congested and compromises your training that you would probably stay. If, you, if you're a local club, you'll train somewhere else and then come here just the last minute. But it, like, if you're not used to it, you definitely need to practice steering on these booms and used to the bouncy water. Yeah, it was absolute chaos on the water before racing started yesterday on day one. Watching the steering of that Oxford Brooks University boat, not much wrong at the moment. No, the Brooks ate well within themselves. And a bit like the London Rowing Club eight we saw in the Thames Cup earlier, this remnant women's eight, really putting their cards on the table then for this top women's eights event here at the regatta this is the grand equivalent and all the best crews and best women's eights will be coming to race here over the weekend and oxford brooks university won't be underestimated by anyone with their record at Henry Royal regattas of years gone by you see the cox there beatrice argyle not giving much away well, some good rowing there Accurate blade work, lots of time for the boat do the work. Last few strokes for Oxford Brooks University in the Remenham Challenge Cup. Good from them, really classy performance. Nolsey Boat Club unable to stay with them. That's the result of the latest Remnant Challenge Cup heat. Oxford Brooks University beating Malsey Boat Cup.